let me be so bold uh, to address how I think President Trump should handle the debates with Joe Biden. Uh, Let me play cut six here. This is Joe Biden's campaign spokesperson talking about his accomplishments. Here we go. Look, I think you've got to, first of all, take a step back and look at what, what President Biden has done for the economy. He's created over 15 million jobs. Uh, GDP has been at a record high. Unemployment's been low, especially among black Americans and Hispanic Americans. So you will see President Biden talking about his accomplishments. Uh-huh. Now, Donald Trump could come in and debate with Joe Biden. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't debate with Joe Biden. I wouldn't debate with Joe uh, with Jake Tapper. I I would just say, look, uh, what was your question, Jake? It was about Ukraine and what we're going to do in Ukraine. Okay, Um, I'm not going to debate a guy on foreign policy. He's responsible for the disaster of Afghanistan, for the Taliban being back, for the Russia Ukraine war, uh, for the Middle East. The Russia, Ukraine, and now the Middle East has brought our gas prices, our food prices, and inflation to record highs. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to even talk about what he's doing. I'm just telling you right now, the American people cannot take it anymore. The American people cannot afford these kinds of decisions coming again. Well, what do you talk about? You know, he's created X number of jobs. No, he hasn't. And have the facts. The New York Times even says the uh, the the Los Angeles Times just reported and you can find them. There's been no job growth in California. The last year of all of the reported job growth in California was bogus. If you look at our job growth right now. You know who is getting jobs? Illegals. You know who's not? There has not been any job growth since this man got into office with Americans other than part-time jobs. More and more people have to take part-time work, work two, three, even four jobs just to support the family. They can't afford rent. Why? Why did all of this happen? Because of his policies. So don't ask me to debate him on any of these things. He's so wrong, it's not worth anyone's time. Here's what I promise the American people. Your inflation uh, is going to take a while to turn around. But I, I agree, it exists. This man told you it didn't exist. It exists, and it's dire. And we're losing the dollar because of his relationship with the Saudis and all of the problems that we have had here. We're going to lose the dollar. I will tell you that I, and I've done it before, I have created jobs. I have helped. You know, and you know the best way the president can create jobs? Get out of the way. This president creates jobs that are all in the United States government. I'd like to make the unemployment rate in the United States government high. I would like to make the uh, employment rate for citizens of this country very low. What's that mean? It means the government's not going to be spending all the money creating new jobs in the government. We're going to cut that. I, I would, I would, I would. This guy is a real estate mogul. I would say... Right now, you can't afford housing. Well, I will tell you there's a place where you're going to be able to buy housing dirt cheap, and that is in the suburbs of Washington, D.C., because I'm going to cut this government size so dramatically that houses will be up for sale like never before. It will be a mass evacuation of Washington, D.C., only rivaled by the mass evacuation of California that these policies from the left have caused. I I would just talk about gas prices, food prices, jobs, no matter what what the question is. These are the actual facts. You know, were you better off 
when I was in charge of the economy. Let's take COVID out of it on both sides. Were you better off now or before COVID? Were you working? Did you have hope? The, the government is creating these jobs by spending the money that they take from you. And that's not creating any new wealth. The way to create jobs for the government, the president to do it, is free the people to work the way they want to work. Reduce all of the all of these ridiculous climate uh, changing, global warming, uh, all these uh, special favors to unions. Let people work and create. Let them let them choose the path and design their own life. It's their life, not the life of the government of the United States of America. Let them Free them to make their own decisions. Free them. I have so much belief in the American people that they can dig out of any hole. Do we need to talk about the greatest generation? Dig them out of every hole. The government didn't do that. The people did. The people did. Well, we're in trouble again. And the world is being uh, divvied up between Marxist and globalists and those who want power for themselves. I think I've taken it on the chin here long enough, um, and I'm only getting hammered the way I am because I am the biggest obstacle standing in the globalists' way. I don't believe that any of this stuff is good for America. And I'm sorry, you know, I keep hearing America first is so, you know, Nazi or whatever. It's not. I love my country. I believe my country is the greatest beacon of freedom. How do I know that? Where do all the people around the world have always wanted to go? To America. They recognize the freedom here that we are now on the edge of losing. So they can talk a good game. I'm going to actually do these things. Anybody who didn't vote for me last time because you didn't think that I would do the things I said I was going to do, uh, I did them. I did them. Was your border more secure? Was our world more secure? Were your classrooms more sane for your children? And could you afford groceries? <laughs> 